tracking, of course, everything we need to be tracking out there. We got a, a number on this big, uh, our eye on this big number as well. Uh, one billion. Biden administration now sending out one billion free at home rapid COVID-19 tests. That's double the previous commitment. Still some question though, robes is exactly when are those going to be available and people can actually get their hands on them. But yeah. we're told they're coming. OK, when and how yes. we'll, we'll be on that. And uh, as many as as many of you know, we are wishing ABC chief medical correspondent mm -hmm. Dr. Jen Ashton a very speedy recovery from her COVID-19 diagnosis. She is doing OK. She's fully vaccinated. She's boosted. Mm -hmm. She's recovering. She calls them some, you know, cold symptoms. Mm -hmm. She's she's been laying low and resting <laughs> up. So we're hoping to check in with her very soon here. But in the meantime, let's bring in Dr. Darren. Marian Sutton, who's in L.A. for us today. And Dr. Sutton, we know the CDC's current mask guidance doesn't recommend any specific type of mask, but obviously we're dealing with Omicron. Mm. We know it's highly contagious. So the agency is weighing whether Americans should actually end up upgrading their masks, yes? Yeah, so leading experts seem to be re uh, leaning toward this recommendation that everyone should have access to an N95 mask, and federal health officials seem to be leaning toward that as well. You know, at this point in the pandemic, I personally believe that each and every person should have access to an N95 mask, especially for those high-risk environments, but they're difficult to find, and when you do find them, they can be quite expensive. Okay, how expensive are we talking about here? What are we supposed to do about that? I mean, we, we see so many places you go even now, the, the disposable masks, they'll just hand you one on your way in, right? Those seem to be so accessible, those surgical masks. But uh, if you don't have you get your hands on the uh, N95, how do you properly wear what we're working with now, the surgical and the cloth? Yeah, so when I'm thinking about wearing a mask, I'm thinking about two main qualities, TJ, the fit and the material. So N95 masks are made out of this polymer-like substance that doesn't allow the flow of pathogens, up to 95% of particles, and it fits snug on the face, and those two qualities help it be so effective. Now, surgical masks are actually made out of the same material, but of course they don't fit snug, and then you have cloth masks that are made out of wo woven material that can increase the flow of possible pathogens, therefore increasing your risk of transmission and infection. I'd recommend that if you're outside and you don't have access to an N95 to wear a surgical mask first closest to your face and then a well-fitting cloth mask over that that fits closely to the sides of your face and under your chin. Yep, my daughter's are, are double masking now. She's going to school, school and she huh? said, you know what, mom, I'm double masking. So oh, okay. that's where we are now. Thank you very much, Dr. Sutton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.